Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're going to be playing Squish Doku. Now, it's another one in the Equality Cages series from Gublor, and I'm actually quite thankful that somebody uh, prompted me yesterday about, I say yesterday, it's today, as I'm recording it, yesterday for you guys, uh, that there's a new puzzle to play, um, and I don't know how I keep missing this, so if there are other series that we are solving on this channel, and I'm somehow missing the fact that there are others that are coming out in the series, uh, do point them out. I would absolutely love to be, I mean, a completionist, and we actually get all of the puzzles in those series. Um, right, we've played this Squish Doku before, and I admit, I don't think you guys were fans of this. So I'm hoping the familiarity with equality cages will make this work a bit more easily, but, you know, can't tell until we actually play this puzzle together. Uh, speaking of which, let's take a look at today's puzzle and rule sets with Squish Doku, Quality Cages 138 from Gubbler, and the following set of rules. So Squish Doku is, there are nine 3x3 three three boxes which overlap at the dashed lines. We have to place the digits 1 to 9 in each box so that no digits repeat in any box, column, or row. So I'm just going to deliberately like use a bit of color so that you can see them more easily. There's a blue box here. Here's another blue box, which you can see absolutely, sorry, green box. Here's a yellow box that you can see also overlaps. And even the center box here, you know, really overlaps. But the idea is that blue is the digits one to nine once each. Green is the digits one to nine once each. And as we place these digits, what we cannot do, of course, is repeat digits in the column or the row. But obviously the ones where they overlap, they're going to be fascinating for us to actually take a look at. Uh, what else am I going to say? Uh, I'm going to point out the obvious. This is 7 by 7 Sudoku. So in the columns and the rows, you can't exactly use Sudoku, normal classic Sudoku rules to actually detect what are some of the remaining digits. Obviously, you can use the fact that you can't repeat digits, but just, you know, like using this column as an example, it doesn't have to be a three. So equality cages, um, I'm actually going to just, this is probably quicker. Um, equality cages, cages must have an equal number of low digits, one, two, three, four, uh, and high digits, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. But I also have to have an equal number of even digits, such as two, four, or six, eight, of course, and odd digits such as 1, 3 or 7, 9. So this will be a valid pencil mark for this equality cage now. Uh, digits may not repeat inside a cage and they cannot contain a 5. Fairly straightforward. We also have crop keys and XVs. So start with the crop key dots. So essentially a black dot indicates cell values are in 2 to 1 ratio. So if this cell is a 2, this would be in 1 or 4 so that one cell is double the other. If it is a white dot, however, let's say that's a two, uh, white dots means they're consecutive. This will be one or three. Not all dots are shown, a four here, a three there. All of that is allowed, even if there isn't a black dot between this two to one ratio or this consecutive dots values. Last but not least, XV, adjacent cells connected with an X must sum up to 10. So if this cell is a two, this would have to be an eight to make sure that these two cells are up to 10. And these must sum up to 5, so that could be a 4, that would have to be a 1 to make sure these two cells add up to 5. Uh, not all are shown again. So a 2 with a 3 clearly adds up to 5, not a problem. With a 7 clearly adds up to 10, not a problem. Absence of an X, absences of V, all fine. So, fairly straightforward set of rules, kind of. I mean, if you've seen them all before. Squishuku will be Squishduku, pardon me. Uh, it's going to be interesting for sure. Right, uh, if you want to play along, link in the description down below for you to do so. And uh, with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I got on. And uh, if you've played enough equality cages, you just you spot these very easily. This is a 3-6 pair. Um, only way for a two-cell equality cage with a black dot in, in it uh, to be valid is 3 and 6. If you remember the pairs of black croquet dots, 1 and 2, 2 and 4, 3 and 6, 4 and 8. Need to have a low digit and a high digit, so 1, 2 and 2, 4 doesn't work. Need to have an odd digit and an even digit, so two even digits doesn't work, 3, 6 is the only way. 
three six in this box now actually in this box here's a much more obvious thing equality cages and remember the equality cages cannot contain five where is a five in the middle box well here's our first digit in under a minute you know you're in for a good time when you can actually place a digit almost immediately almost immediately in my case i mean hopefully immediately for you guys these black croquet dots are going to be one two four eight because they're not three six i mean i'm not sure why i'm pencil marking it but let's have a think so if these cells are, let's say are one two this black crop dot because it's in the same box notice as this one two pair well it can't be one two one thing it could be is four eight but then where would four eight go in the middle box because it's none of these it's not one or two it's not three six it's not five and i can't place both of them in here so i think this has to be three six this three six essentially if it's three well it can't bear up with a six here it would have to be an eight and if it's a six in here it would have to be a one in there because the three won't be available Ooh, um three sixes so three six can't be in this column three six can't be in here because it's in the same box three six can't be there because again it's in the same middle box where's three six now in box two well the only places are in here which of course in an equality cage was three and six this would have to be one and eight so these are two four so this equality cage now is now two four seven nine that means this would have to be two or four because you can't have seven or nine on a black croquet dot you know half of seven is 3.5 double is nine is 18 and then in here we've got two four seven nine so that's kind of the quadruple and therefore in here we've got one eight now these two cells they need to be another 2-4, this 2-4 specifically, which can't be in here because the other three are already inside box 2. So that would be 2-4, and this is going to be a 5. Box 8 now, no 5s, no 5s. Where is 5? Well, it can't be inside the equality cage, so that's a 5. This can't be 6, so it'd have to be 4. This would have to be 7 or 9. That four gives me a two. That two removes all of these twos. That's a two. That's a two. I can type. That can't be an eight anymore. That's a one. That's an eight. That one gives me another eight in here, which forces a three in there, which forces a six in here. That one gave me an eight up there, a one here. Lovely. Um, right, so what am I missing in this box? I need a two. So I need one, two, I need, well, another three, six, four, five, seven, nine. Yeah, I'm not too sure, actually. Oh, here is something much better. Forget this two. Right, the V now. Well, neither of these cells can be a four because it's inside the same box. So this has to be two, three. This is not the three because that's a three, six pair. That's three, that's two. That three tells me that's a six, that's a three. Right, this box now needs a two and a three. The two can only be in here. The three can only be in there. And then I need a seven, nine pair. So this is definitely seven or nine. And then I have another seven, nine in one of these three cells. Not straightforward. 1 and 8 can't be this cell inside this box. So this is, in fact, a 1, 8 pair. And this is my other 7, 9. Uh, this equality cage doesn't include a 2, doesn't include a 3. Doesn't include a 1. You need a high, di so you need a low digit. And it's not 1 because it's in the box. It's not 2 or 3 because it's in the column. That's got to be a 4 with 7 or 9 definite four in here which means that's not a four because it's inside the same box 
That's a 479 triple now. This is not a 6. In fact, it's not 3 or 6. This is 3, 6. Can't be a 9 in here anymore. And these two cells are 5 and something. Got everything else. 5, 8. Uh, 4 in this box now can only be in here because of these 4s. And this looks like a 1. Yes, because I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep. That one gave me eight, gave me one. Sorry, just having a moment here. I'm not sure I can force any of this. Of course, five and eight I can, but the rest I'm not sure I can. Uh, what do we have in here? Fives on one of these two cells. This is not, so essentially I have another four seven nine with the five but this is not four so that's seven nine and then potentially a four in here the four is just proving a bit tricky this box eight no eight no eight no eight isn't an eight that's eight that's two that's not a two, that is a two. But that wasn't ever a three. Come on, Sleuth. That was a three because of the three six pair. This is the other seven nine that I need to complete the box. I may have to actually color these seven nines. So this needs. So what am I what am I missing in this box? I've got one, two, three. I need four, five, six, and another seven, nine. Now the five is stuck in here. Oh, here it is, here it is. So the five is stuck, four, seven, and nine. So this one can't be anything except six. And this one would be another four, seven, nine. This box, I need a one, which is in here. I need a two, which is just placed. I've got a three. Four, seven, nine, is they're just... I may have to color this to make my life a bit easier. Because, you know, that's another four, seven, nine, but that's... And in fact, no, that's five as well. It could be five, and that could be one. I must be missing something. Sorry, time to color. Oh, hang on, hang on. I think I, I have it. This is a four, right. Colors are going to help. Uh, let's call this green. Let's call this yellow. This is obviously yellow because it's in the same row. This is green because it's in the same box as this yellow. This sees green and yellow. That's four. That's not four. That's yellow. That's green. That's another green and yellow seeing the cell. So that's another four, which gives me seven, which gives me six, which gives me four, which gives me three, six, three. Um, I need a green seven, nine, and it can't be this cell. So that's the one. This is the green seven, nine. Um, this is four, five pair now because, hang on, uh, it's not yellow or green. So that would have to be green. This would have to be yellow, and that's not a four. Am I struggling? Oh, yeah, seven. There you go. So green is nine. Yellow is seven. Four in here gave me five, and four for the finish. It's an excellent puzzle, Gubbler. Excellent puzzle. I mean, it's not the most intuitive if you haven't played this Squish Doku before. But really beautifully constructed. You know, the 3-6 pairs, the 3-6, the 3-6. It just kept flowing on from here. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that solve. Pretty happy with the puzzle. Hope you guys enjoyed the puzzle and the video. And that was, um, I don't know if that was two stars. If I'm solving in under 10 minutes, definitely doesn't feel like two stars. See you back soon. Bye-bye for now.